So, well, we got some serious flooding here. I'm in Burlington, and... A powerful storm in Toronto resulted in flooding and massive power outages. The powerful storm has left many streets in Toronto flooded, including Don Valley Parkway, and 123,000 customers without power, according to Toronto Hydro. Crews are working to resolve the outage but do not yet have an estimated restoration time, Toronto Hydro said. Residents are asked to avoid downed wires and call 911 if they see them. Environment Canada issued a heavy rain warning for the city Tuesday morning with the risk of thunderstorms continuing in the afternoon and evening. The warning no longer applies in the afternoon, but there are still a number of traffic and public transport disruptions to be aware of. Photojournalists across Toronto captured dramatic images of rescues and submerged cars as the city ground to a halt in flood-prone areas. Stretches along the swollen Don River at the eastern end of the city blocked in both directions by flooding. Municipal governments across the GTA have also warned residents to avoid flooded areas. Toronto firefighters said they rescued 12 people like, from flooding at nice. DVP, including one person it's who like fell from the roof of his car. Flooded. Crews have responded to a large number of calls regarding flooding and trapped lifts, the Toronto Fire Department said. Up to 110 mm of rain is expected to fall on Tuesday, with rainfall rates of 40 mm per hour possible in some spots, Environment Canada said. Heavy rain may cause flash flooding and waterlogging on roads. Localized flooding in low-lying areas is possible. Be alert for possible flash flooding near rivers, creeks and culverts, the rain warning said. The Toronto and Region Conservation Authority, TRCA, issued a flood warning Tuesday afternoon, stating that expected rainfall totals could create hazardous conditions near bodies of water, including slippery and unstable riverbanks. All shorelines, rivers, and streams in the GTA should be considered hazardous because heavy rains can result in higher flows, erosion and rapid changes in water levels, says TRCA. Please be careful if you must be around bodies of water, rivers, or streams, as well as the shoreline of Lake Ontario, TRCA said. David Phillips, senior climatologist at Environment and Climate Change Canada, said the system that produced the rainfall was unique from a meteorological perspective. It was actually a series of separate storms that consecutively pounded the GTA, especially the city of Toronto, Phillips said. There was a series of storms from London to west of Toronto that lined up like a parade, like jumbo jets on an airport tarmac. And there was storm after storm coming one after another, dropping loads of rainfall, he told CBC News Network. About 100 millimeters of rain was recorded at Pearson International Airport in Mississauga, while about 76 millimeters fell in downtown Toronto in a few hours, according to Phillips. It's because of the intensity. We saw 30 millimeters of rain in 30 minutes. That's equivalent to what you would see in a forest, he said. Spring and summer have been very wet in most parts of the GTA. From April 1st to yesterday, the region received about 166% of the rainfall that would normally occur during the same period, Phillips said. The ground is saturated and the river flow is full, he added. It's a new reality. It used to be river flooding, now it's city flooding. 
So the power is out, intersections are flooded, roads are flooded. It's not surprising to see Toronto the way it is now. Speaking Tuesday afternoon, Mayor Olivia Chow said the city is investing heavily in repairs so future flooding can be reduced. Asked why the Don Valley Parkway wasn't closed earlier to drivers to prevent cars from driving through the flooded road, Chow said he didn't know. Ontario Premier Doug Ford, speaking from a Premier's meeting in Halifax, said he would be in touch with Chow to see what the city might need as it recovers from the storm. Incessant heavy rains caused major flooding in parts of the city, especially in low-lying areas near Lake Ontario. Near the corner of King Street West and Atlantic Avenue W, a stretch of road historically prone to flash flooding, abandoned heavy construction machinery and a pickup truck were seen half-submerged in water. Several inches of water also collected in the area of Union Station, the city's largest transit hub, with water from inside flowing down exterior stairs.